Here we're looking for voltage V when this resistance is 2 ohms. Superposition is necessary in this problem. Let's begin by finding the voltage due to the 6 amp source. So we replace this with a short circuit and replace that with a short circuit. Next, combine those devices in parallel and we've got 1 over 1 third plus 1 sixth and that equals 2 ohms. Next we can see 6 amps divides between these two paths so we can use a current divider relationship. So the current of interest is the conductance of the 2 ohm and the 2 ohm resistor in series divided by the total conductance seen by the source. Multiply that by the current source value. That gives the current. Once we have that, we multiply excuse me, by 2 ohms to get our voltage and find out that V6 is 4 volts. Let me go ahead and re restore the original circuit for the next part. Now let's find the voltage due to the 3 ohm source acting by itself. 3 volt source, excuse me. So we need to set that to an open circuit and set that to a short circuit. So now we're finding the voltage due to the 3 volt source acting alone. Simplifying the circuit, I see the two 2 ohm resistors are in series. Let's go ahead and add those together and, and replace. Then observe that the 4 ohm and the 6 ohm devices are in parallel, leaving a single equivalent resistance of 2.4 ohms. So now we see two resistors connected across a voltage source. So we can use voltage divider. And V3 is 2.4 over 2.4 plus 3 times the 3 volt value. And uh, if you look at polarity, you see that we have a mismatch here, so we need to multiply by negative 1 to get the correct sign. And that value works out to be minus 1.33 volts. We're two-thirds done. Let me restore the original circuit again. So last of all, we need to find the voltage due to the 16 volt source acting alone. So we replace that with a short and that with an open. So look for simplifications. 3 is in parallel with 6, leading to a 2 ohm resistor. Let's go ahead and swap that out. I also need to note that this is V16 and the voltage across that 2 ohm resistor is found by voltage divider. So it's 2 over 2 plus the remaining resistances times 16. Here we see that the polarities match, so there's no need to change a sign on that. And this value works out as 5.33 volts. Let me go back to the original circuit then for combining the results. So the desired voltage V is the sum of V6, V3, and V16. And we end up with a result of 8 volts.